seen the end of uh, Dr. Will Preston. in our office think he's looking even better than ever. Hello. Oh, hi. Well, here's somebody I used to know. Might not remember me, though. No. Dr. Preston, I delivered you. And then I was your doctor until you were about... Eight. Yeah. You always were one step ahead, even to be born. Wasn't he, Sandra? <laughs> <laughs> I heard you were back again. Yes, that's right. And resuming duties as your family doctor. Hiya. Oh, <laughs> sorry, we're all just sitting down. Wow, there. that's quick. <laughs> Hello. Hi, oh, you see you. I called you Sam earlier. It's, it's fine, I'm really flattered. Oh, it's it's just... Jessica Lang's husband, isn't it? <laughs> Politically he? correct. Right, yeah. <laughs> Movie star, writer, <laughs> <Okay. looking laughs> rich, yeah, rich, yeah, absolutely. My, I'll my go with that, yeah. <laughs> well, good to see you. Why, why are you back? What's happened in your, in your little mind there? What have you decided to do? Well, it, actually, in that clip, mm. what mm. I was saying, Alan Grint, the director, said, you're not saying goodbye in that clip, are you? And I went, I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure. And uh, what? When, at the end of the last. The end of the last series. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, I needed to leave. I needed to find some sort of diversity in my acting. I needed to take all that on board. I found that. They asked me about 18 months ago whether I'd be interested. At that point, I wasn't. Hmm. Then they asked me again at Christmas, and I thought, actually, this is a great role. It's a great series. Mm. I love the part. I love Derbyshire. It's a new cast: mm. Maggie O'Neill and Gray O'Brien. Fantastic actors, new producers, new script writers, same part, but yeah. moved on. Yeah. So I went, yeah, I'll give it, give mm. it a go, actually. Was that your, your first scene, when you said hello then, when you walked into the room? No, that's oh. in, actually, that's in the second episode. Right. And, um, and having gone back, no, no second thoughts or regrets? Absolutely as none. As you expected it No, to none. I'm just a little bit older. So, you know, those <laughs> early mornings are that little oh, bit I do, harder. Judy. I, I think you're looking better, actually. Uh, you've, you've lost some weight, haven't you? Everybody says that, and you, you don't notice, do you, if you're looking in the mirror shaving every day? No, but no. When people haven't seen you for three years, they say... Mm. Yeah, they oh, say, I just noticed in those two clips. Yeah, you look, you yeah, look no, I think I have. Yeah, the, I mean, the reason that Will Preston left the, the last time was because he, he got married and yeah. had um, a little girl yeah. who was very seriously ill. Cystic fibrosis, yeah. Terrible thing, terrible thing. Um, and so... You've now come back, you've been in America, now we, we, we're not going to review because it, it will become obvious over the mm, next few episodes mm, mm. as to what's happened to you. But you've come back rather flush, haven't you? I mean, kind of yes, lots I mean, of money and... They, they moved to a special day unit in Bristol mm. with Emily, the daughter, so that he could become a locum, she could go in and spend the days with, with uh, Emily. They then have moved to America and he's made a lot of money in private medicine. He comes back to help, um, it's a two-part story that's going on at the moment with Andrew and the GMC, yeah. Gary Mavers, and he comes back to help him out uh, in that situation. And unexpectedly, when Andrew wants to leave, mm -hmm. he offers to buy into the practice. Everybody expects Emily and Kate, mm. Sheila McLeod, to, um, to come back. Mm. So he goes along with that, but mm. actually there's no sign of them. And I'm not going to say anything. Banana no. the patio, are they? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, but, but that kind of, no. that, that's the storyline as it's revealed in the... Yes, yeah. in fact, actually, what, the, what Phil Collinson, the producer and the scriptwriter, have done brilliantly is to present... I mean, that's what's great about, mm. about being an actor. You present one thing, then you show all that. That's what Lucy Gunning created originally with Will. Yeah. You, you show all the stuff that's going on underneath. Mm. And he comes back wearing chiruti suits and very... Flash, what drives a flash car and mm. much more confident and mature and, and then there are chinks mm. and you find him oh, isn't it you find him quietly in the corner um, mm. all right you get a lot of attention from the ladies don't you mm. I, I read somewhere that you were at some garden fate um, <laughs> go on tell us about these two women who came up to you I was at a, I was at a fate in uh, Warwickshire a hospital fate actually yeah. and um, and a woman came over with her friend and said, uh, can I have an autograph? And uh, I said, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I just opened it. And um, I can't believe you know this story. <laughs> and, uh, and the friend went, go on, get him to sign where you want him to sign. So um, 
I went, where would you like me to sign? And she just went, no. She didn't reveal, she just went like that. And I went, I, I don't think so, actually. That's my wife over there. And she, she went... And your four kids. Yeah. And she went, well, she's tall. She's tall, but I'll put up a fight any time this <laughs> afternoon. It was fantastic. <laughs> well, that's interesting, Judy. That reminds right. me of what happened on <laughs> Festival Beach. Oh, In yes. Cornwall. I was asked, I was asked to sign... Uh, one of the really dishy surfer came up to me and asked me to sign his chest. Fantastic. I was, I was, there are I, perks in our jobs. <laughs> there really are. I was there. I was so thrown. I asked you, I said, do you mind? I said, I give you permission to wait. <laughs> if you close your eyes as you're saying it. <laughs> it is odd, isn't it? <laughs> it really so is. Did, anyway, so did you sign it or not? Uh, no, I think I signed her, her program for the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> and kept a very low profile. I, I got in the car with the kids, you know, into the people wagon with all those four kids. Very, very quickly. I remember once. Just, we all got a little story. I remember once, do you remember when Jack was a baby and we were at Fog Lane Park at the, the, mm. the fair? And he did it, he still isn't happy. And I had to take him back to, to the car to change him. So I was being followed by, by this family. It was fair enough. And uh, they came up behind me as I'd take, I'd got him in the, on the car seat and the car door opened, boiling hot day, opened the nappy and it was horrendous. You know, one of the, it was real bad. <laughs> you know. came oh dear. So you know, I'm trying to sort it out and it's all in my hands and everything and I'm trying to get the wipes. And this really, really rude guy sort of punched me in the back and said, come on, sign this. I said, what in this? <laughs> it's extraordinary. Extraordinary. Anyway. Well, it sort of leaves you nowhere to go. Well, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. yeah. I was also very interested, to, 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 I, I probably knew this at some subconscious level, but I, I wasn't aware of it, that you used to live in, um, in Stratford. Yeah, that's right. And your right. parents ran the, du the, uh, the, the Dirty Duck, yep. it's called. Yeah, it? they, they moved there in, in 59, yeah. and um, Dad sold up in 85, 86. Great. So, uh, that was... We so lived it's the Actors Pub, basically. Yeah. No, it is. It's, it's almost opposite the oh, theatre. Well, is that, is that why you're an actor, do you think? I guess. Yeah, really? Know, I couldn't you, think of anything else to do, and you know, yeah. here I am 20-odd years later. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, we, Mum and Dad always used to have the same seats for first nights, and um, G18 and 19 in the stalls. <laughs> and, uh, and the first thing I saw was John Barton's War of the Roses trilogy, which was mid-60s, I mm. guess. And, uh, mm. Sort of was hooked actually. And how old were you then? Oh, I can't. Uh, about very young. Eight. Mm. Eight, I guess. Eight. Yeah. And but I mean, I just couldn't. I, I don't think I. It wasn't being starstruck. I mean, y yes, of course, I met mm. lots of people, but they were just mum and dad's friends, and we lived above the shop in those days. Sure. But you must have liked the atmosphere. Yeah. In the, because because actors can be absolutely, well, in, entrancingly charming when they want to be, can't they? Um, and, and, and obviously you were deeply attracted to it, but your father, was your father pleased when you decided to become an actor? No, he, I mean, the two things that he didn't want us to go into, my brother Robin and I, who's three years older than me, morning Robin, <laughs> he'll really like this with his students, um, he, Robin went into hotel and catering, yeah. and I went into acting, those were the two things that they really, <laughs> didn't, they really <laughs> didn't want us to go into, they yeah. knew the sort of, the hard work and the insecurities of both, but, yeah. You know, he's now a lecturer, and, um, it and I'm an actor in hotel and catering right. in Portsmouth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your father used to provide, didn't he provide free meals for the struggling yeah. actors who couldn't afford to eat? Is, uh, your, is your father still alive? <laughs> yes, he yeah. is. He's, he's getting on, but mm. he is. But um, it's amazing, actually. When I work with, with actors who were around in the 60s, which is when my parents actually used to live at the dark, mm. um, you know, I, I met one this week, and you can see them going, Right, well, he was that high. <laughs> and, they, and they say, are you the tall one or the short oh, one? I go, yeah. well, I'm actually the shorter the one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you. It's Thanks good to see you back on, on, on the show. It's next week, isn't it? Yeah, Tuesday. Next Tuesday, Tuesday night. 9.10. 9 10. So 9 10. Oh, it's yeah. the ratings war, isn't oh, it? Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. It's all over the place It's the moment, extraordinary, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Fingers oh, crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Okay, great to see you. Thank you. Okay.